Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching uh, Seven's Adventures again this morning. Got a little bit different camera set up here. Maybe it'll be a little bit better than that old camera phone. It. I'm not the smartest guy in the world when it comes to electronics, and for some reason I couldn't get it to swap over from my phone to my my MacBook Pro. So anyway, for you guys, for myself, I thought, you know what, I'll break down and go spend a little bit of money and we'll get a camera. It's not no big high dollar one. It's not a Demo Ranch camera or a Lunkers TV camera yet. Working on it. Them guys are just awesome. If y'all don't know who them guys are, check them out. Subscribe to them. They're fantastic. I love them. They're an inspiration to me and a lot of other people. Anyway, I had something I wanted to bring to y'all this morning. Something that I discovered uh, in trying to start shooting some of this USPSA stuff and thought, well, maybe this would be a little bit cheaper to make a simple target stand with. Um, so here it goes. Let me show you what I've been, what I've got and what I'm doing here. We have at Tractor Supply, you can buy, these are electronic fence stays is what these are. Get zoomed back out here. These are just your standard old, you, you hook them up to an electronic fence. They're, I don't know, a dollar fifty, dollar sixty-seven. Got a little step on them. Stick it in the ground. You gotta kind of tilt it back a little bit the way I've got it set up. Shove it down in the ground a little bit. There we go. Now, get you another one. One of them, as you'll see here, has already been shot at. It's got some holes in it, but we're gonna use this fresh one here. Get you another one, put it, oh, about the same distance apart as a as the uh, uh, piece of cardboard that you're using. Mash it down in the ground. Get it set up. In fact, let me uh, walk back over here and we'll get the tripod and maybe it'll be a little bit easier for everybody to see. Set this up on the tripod. Here temporarily. Bear with me for a second. I'll get this thing set on the tripod. Now, alright. Now maybe we can see what's going on here. Okay. <clears throat> you take the piece of cardboard, it's say yay big. You can cut them however you want to. You can go to your you can go to your local your local uh, hardware store or just pretty well anywhere has got cardboard that, that you can pick up. Sorry, I'm still learning how to use this camera equipment guys. Just try to bear with me here for a moment. And uh Get you some cardboard, or you can buy the the, the uh, IDPA USPSA, the ones that's pre-cut. You can buy that and use it. That that works great. You can you know build your ten fifteen dollar PVC or wood stand. Works good. That's fine. However, these got these little plastic clips, and they're a dollar sixty a piece. They're very expendable. If you were to shoot one, to where you couldn't use it no more, a dollar and sixty cents, and you get you another one. Take a piece of cardboard. Slide her down in that clip right there, like so. And basically, you got your a a, a, a a target stand with a holding your your USPSA. I'm, I've got some more orders for the USPSA. So you draw you if you're just using like I am piece of cardboard, you can draw you a circle for head, or you can make it a Obviously, I'm not an artist, so or you can draw you a square. You can draw you a square down here for your alpha zones. Color it in if you want to. Anyway, like I said, I've got another one right here that I've made up. This is one I worked on a few days ago and had shot. Made a little circle and kind of simulating a, a poor man's excuse at an alpha zone. And you stick them on them little these little electric fence stays right here. That are dollar sixty at Tractor Supply. They got little plastic tabs on them, and they just stick in the ground. Very, very simple to use. Nothing to it. <clears throat> so I set that up, and as y'all could probably may or may not can see, let me back the camera back up here. I've got kind of a little makeshift practice area here. Got 
target over here. These are all steel. The, the one in the middle, this one right here is AR500. I broke down and bought it. These other, this one and the one, the round one on the left and this round one on the left and this square one, they're just soft steel and I've shot at them a time or two with a rifle and it's, uh, it's put a dent or two in them, but you know, it, right now I don't have quite the funds to spend a lot of money on the high dollar stuff just yet, but maybe we'll get there here for too much longer. I'm going to take a couple of shots for y'all and uh, we'll see what it, kind of see what it turns out looking like. Let me get my ears on if I can find them. Always got to have your ears, your eyes and ears. Go around and get yourself hurt. And you're shooting steel fairly close like this. You're usually okay, but better be safe than sorry. You don't want to fool around and and uh, get yourself nicked. I've, in fact, I caught one, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, like another YouTuber. They caught one in the chest that put a hell of a mark on my chest. But anyway, eyes and ears. Got my little temporary USPSA target set up over here. Don't have my timer on. I don't even have my actual competition rig on. I've just got this. This is my Shadow 2 that y'all may or may not have seen a video on. That I just threw in an old Kydex holster I've got that it fits in just to make this video. But let's uh, let's run through them targets one time and see what it looks like. she's empty so and if you know you kind of obviously you, you need a, a little bit of a piece of ground to uh, <clears throat> to shoot a little bit like this fortunately I live out on several acres so but you can have you a little setup that will actually let you actually do a little practicing I mean I know that's kind of I quote, quote unquote ghetto but hey it's cheap I spent I've got two dollars in the legs you can buy that you can get the cardboard pretty well anywhere I think I gave a hundred dollars for that for that uh, steel target and these I've picked up from work and and uh, just used to practice with I don't have an actual full-blown stage yet but maybe one of these days I'll I'll get there uh, we've also uh, at some point today as y'all can see over here Something's going to happen with that. I don't know if it'll be tied in with this video, but that's that old air conditioner that quit on me. And by God, I'm going to blow that son of a bitch up if it hair lifts the governor. I don't like it. It's irritated me, so we're going to see if we can do away with it. Well, I appreciate y'all watching this episode of Seven's Adventures, and I'll probably tie this one in with some more uh, for a video later today. And, uh, in fact, you know, I told y'all I was going to shoot, show you this shadow, shooting this shadow. Let's see if I can get behind the, the viewfinder there without tearing up my new camera and get a view of shooting this old girl from basically bird's eye from y'all's point of view. I never tried that, so let's see what it looks like real quick. Get everything switched back around here. Zoom in on the target a little bit. I have no idea how this is going to work, folks, so bear with me momentarily here. All right. Let's load her up, put another magazine in her. All right, she is hot. Let's get her eyes and ears on. All right. Now, this may be a trick. There's some YouTubers out there that are really good at it, but I have no earthly idea how well I'm going to be able to do this, but we're going to give it a shot. Like I said before, boy, that old fiber optic sight, and I'm in the shade, it just jumps out at you with this old girl. This is just one of, this is a fantastic firearm. So here we go. Let's give it a shot. We're on target, and let's give her a squeeze, and we got her. Let's move over here and get this one. See if we can get this one right here. Get on target. Got her. Move over here on this one, give her a little squeeze. Got her. All right. Move down over here and see if we can get that one. Nailed her. How about let's try this one over here on the right. There we go. First time I've ever done this, folks, and look at that. Not doing too bad 
for a newbie. Let's go ahead and do us a little mag dump right here, why don't we? See if we can work make that happen. I think we got one more. Yep. She's empty. Alright. Well, there'll be more to this possibly later in the day. I uh, I appreciate y'all watching, taking the time to watch and any kind of likes and subscribes. <clears throat> so it really does help the channel a whole lot. Let's walk up here and take one more look at this right here. This is like the simplest thing in the world to make, guys. I mean, literally, you go to Tractor Supply, and I know you're probably laughing and saying, this guy's a blooming idiot, but hey, man, I'm all about saving some money and having fun. Buy these little electric fence stays. You stick them in the ground. They got them little plastic tabs, if you can see right there. You stick your cardboard in it. And like I said, you can order the the actual uh, idpa targets you can order whatever you want to and put in there and they'll slip right in there and okay you shoot one you spend a dollar and fifty cents on it to me that's a whole lot easier than replacing pvc or wood if you're just sitting at home practicing anyway so <clears throat> well that's going to be the end of it for this morning's video and we're going to have more to come hopefully later this afternoon i sure appreciate y'all watching appreciate any of the help and and support you can get with the likes and the shares and stay tuned we're going to try to get better and better as we go on thanks for watching y'all have a wonderful sunday morning